These ants produce a delicacy known as escamoles. Sometimes called ant caviar, these larvae can cost $50 per pound. But to find them, harvesters have to reach inside nests with thousands of ants. A nest can produce escamoles for decades, but poaching and the climate crisis are threatening this centuries-old food. So what do these larvae taste like? And why are they so expensive? Escamoles are small bean-shaped larvae that are high in protein. Here in Mexico, they've been eaten for centuries. They have a buttery, earthy flavor and gently pop in your mouth. Locals say there's nothing else quite like it. They may have this similarity to an egg, but it's actually the larva, the pupas of the future queens. Jose is a chef and farmer in Mexico. Today, he's searching for escamoles with his uncle Armando. Yo cuando llegué aquí hace 10 años, te digo, tenía 30 nidos aquí. Y los eran los que empecé a estudiar. No hay ninguno, no hay nada. El, un, el primer nido que encuentro yo de aquí es a más de un kilómetro de distancia. Harvesters monitor nests throughout the year, but the actual season is short, from late February to the end of April. They head out when the sun is low, because strong UV rays could actually kill the ants. But to find escamoles, Jose first needs to find a nest. Eso, pero es entrenar el ojo. No es tan sencillo que digas, ah, mira, aquí van hormigas. Porque además la hormiga mide de 3 a 5 milímetros. Y se confunde por su color, se confunde muy fácilmente con el entorno. Once you find the nest, you have to understand how to open it in the most secure way for them and for you as well. Another sign that you found a nest? The smell. After 11 years of harvesting, Jose can quickly identify the pungent, farty smell. Depending on the strong smell, you will be able to define if you open it or not. Once Jose determines a nest is ready to harvest, it's time to reach in. The larvae are about half a meter down, so Jose uses his whole arm and maguey leaves to scoop up the ants. The ants do bite, and they can be... One bite is not very uh, strong, but when you have hundreds of them on you, then definitely you have a sort of, of reaction. But even with hundreds of ants crawling on him, Jose has to be careful not to damage the nest. You need to keep your product the most intact as possible. So if you crush the nest, then everything is gone. Escamoles right out of a nest look like this. But harvesters can't take everything. Jose leaves around 30 to 40 percent so that the nest will continue to function. A properly harvested nest can produce larvae for 20 years. But if a nest is damaged, the ants could die, cutting off the supply of escamoles. But the hard work isn't over yet. Back at his farm, Jose carefully cleans the escamoles, a process that's straightforward but delicate. At a restaurant in Mexico, a few grams of escamoles cost around $15 but the price fluctuates a lot. It's very common to have it around Easter. So before uh, Easter, the price will go high, high, high. And then after Easter, it will slowly start to drop. Kilo can vary from 1,300 to up to 2,200 pesos. So after a quite long morning, this is what we came up with, 70, maybe 80 grams of escamole. Jose tries to share his knowledge about escamoles to encourage sustainable harvesting. At his family's farm, he prepares escamoles with serrano peppers, onion, and aloe vera flowers. The texture is a burst of amazing flavor. 
It's sort of like a, yeah, like a little balloon that just explodes in your mouth with this liquid. It's magnificent. So now we add the Escamales. If you talk to older generations, and the moment you mention Escamales, they will automatically have a memory of you know, it. It's like something they've been eating for, for quite a time, but not necessarily very often. Younger generations have been very skeptical on insects. For younger generations to take that leap of faith and understand that they're going to be eating one of the most amazing foods that they have in their country. Jose sells his escamoles directly, but harvesters who work with a middleman often get cut out of larger profits. One article from 2016 described escamoleros getting less than $5 per pound from middlemen. But for some rural harvesters, working with an intermediary is the only option. El escamolero, vamos a decir, tiene un inconveniente grave. El escamolero puede caminar 10 kilómetros a un nido. Sí, hace la extracción. Vamos a suponer que sea en la mañana. Si no lo trae bien cubierto y no se viene sombreado, vamos a decir que se venga por un camino donde encuentre ciertos árboles y todo eso. Cuando él llega a su casa a las 3, 4 de la tarde, ese escamol ya se agrió, ya no sirve. Si él saliera a vender ese escamol, gasta más en traslado para irlo a entregar que lo que va a cobrar. Escamoles are most commonly eaten in Mexico. But when they're exported, the price can more than double. In 2019, a chef in Florida reportedly paid $237 for a pound of escamoles. These high prices have caught the attention of inexperienced harvesters who don't know how to extract escamoles sustainably. Another problem is poachers, who take larvae from farms and undercut the market price. Por la necesidad misma de obtener un ingreso. En este momento ya no es por darse el gusto de comer escamol. En este momento ya es para poder vender X cantidad de escamol y ganarse 100, 50 pesos, desafortunadamente. Ya de pasó de ser un, un platillo tradicional familiar en cierta época del año a tener una demanda a lo largo del año. The restaurants need to understand that there's a certain quantity that's available and that's it. You can't create more, you can't invent more. That's what makes you appreciate everything when you're cooking and how to treat them with respect and not overwork them. For now, Jose and his uncle are focused on teaching rural communities how to harvest sustainably, providing valuable income as well as maintaining the tradition of Escamoles. Mm -hmm.